Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drone. So today we're going to have a look at the Sima Z3, Sima, Sima, whatever you want to call it. It's a Z3, it's got a 720p camera and the one thing about this which advantage is that it has optical flow. See what you get in the box. So you get the drone itself, controller, chip clip, spare props, and a charger which I need to speak to that. So that's what you get in the box. So let's just have a look at so let me show you the charger first. This is it's a, I've seen one of these before on another Simon. So the way to charge this is pull that button in, click that into there and plug it in. Which looks great, but the more you think about it, the more you think, well why don't we lose this? because there's no other way of charging it. Why they haven't just put a USB socket on instead of trying to be clever with that, I do not know. So for me, that was a negative. So let's have a look at the drone. So the drone is, without any doubt, a very nice looking piece of kit. It's quite nice, it's very, it is very well finished off for a toy drone. The plastic's a good quality. There's no real flex in it. It's a good, the colouring they've got really well. I like the features of it. It's got four brushed geared motors. The battery is proprietary, obviously, and it clips in the back there. And you get this strange looking bulge on the back, but I actually quite like it because you can tell in the air which is the front and which is the back. So that's the drone. The controller is your typical Simon controller. Now these have been out a long time. So you've got, um, I think it's speed mode, that button, headless mode, and then you've got on your camera settings for start and stop camera. And on the back you have a little clip here that you remove and I'll show you. That comes out and this goes in. So, so I have watched quite a few reviews of this and the other day I reviewed the Visio optical flow drill. And when I reviewed that I says you need to get used to the tendencies they have of when it turns sometimes it'll need to find its space in the air before it'll come back to you. It looks like it's lost connection, but it hasn't. This is appallingly bad. This thing, you need a huge space to fly it in, because as you turn, it will just keep drifting backwards or sideways, but not for like a couple of seconds, for a good 10 seconds. But in that case, it can keep going backwards. So if you're near a tree, you're going into it. I can guarantee that. The optical flow works really, really nicely. It's holding its position in the air. So when you take off, it'll hover, as I'll show you on the video that's coming up. It hovers really, really nicely but you need a big area to fly this in. This does not handle as well as the optical flow, visual or flow. And mainly I think because optical flow isn't designed for cheap drones. To get it right, you have to spend the money, which is why the Femi A3 doesn't have it or the Xeno, because it's expensive to implement. It's all like putting these $2 ones or $3 cameras that are in here, but they're not good enough. They're not taking enough pictures. And to me, they're not doing enough job of holding it. So, if that was the only problem I had, it wouldn't be a major thing. So let's just turn it on. Let me bind, let's bind it up. There you go. So, it runs on an app called Sima Fly. Or that's what the box tells me. If I've tried Sima Air, that doesn't work. So if I try Sima, and then I put it onto Z3, and I hit start. Let's wait a bit, it can take a while. Okay, it wasn't connected to the internet. It's lost its in I connected the internet before we started doing the video, so let's just sorry, let's start that again. It should come up, it normally comes up on the app and actually asks you. So it's FPV Wi Fi 9ABB. Let's connect it back to that. Let's go back into the app. So here's your app. So apart from the lag, it took me 10 times to connect this when I was out. And only once did I get it to record the video. The other time it didn't. And I've tried 10 times to fly this. So it's very, very, very intermittent to whether it'll get the app. And there is quite a bit of lag. But again, that's not a major issue. You're going to get some lag. So as you can see on here, I have got... 
a video file. And why I'm showing you the video on here is because I cannot get this off my phone. I can't find it on my iPhone. I've tried recording on an Android and I can't find it on there either. I have no idea why. There's obviously some kind of issue on mine. But this is what the video quality looks like. I'm sorry, but it's the best I can do for you because I cannot connect it up. Uh, it actually looks quite decent there, because, but it is on a small screen, you've got to remember, and you're watching it through a camera, so it's going to always look a bit better. It's not going to be as critical. And it didn't look bad from the app when I did get the app to work, to be honest with you, but the fact that the app didn't work was quite a major thing. So as you can see, it doesn't look bad for a 720 camera, but I can't get this image off my phone. It's not stored anywhere. It must be corrupted or something because I can't get it off. Which is a shame. Normally I'd try for ages and ages to try and get it off, but to be fair, because I just don't make the drone anyway, there was not much point for me doing that. Apologies if you see a glitch in the video there, but my battery went flat on the camera. I tend to not last that long. I've done a couple of videos already today. So like I said, the app to me doesn't work properly, but there is a lot of videos out there. If you if you do fancy one of these, by all means watch someone else's video because they might have had far more luck with it than me. What I can tell you is, because of the flying characteristics, I wouldn't be recommending this anyway. Even if you, I've been flying a long time and, and it nearly caught me out a couple of times. You'll see the area I was flying it in is very tree ridden. I was in the middle of the woods, and, but normally if I fly there, I can only fly racing drones down there and I have no issues whatsoever. And this thing was trying to catch me out all the time. I nearly hit, I can't believe how many times I nearly hit the trees because of the fact of the way it turned. And it's a shame because the drone, if it didn't have optical flow, I think it would be amazing. I think it would be really nice and they fixed the camera, but it's a bit, and it's a bit expensive for what it is. There's a lot of stuff out there now in this kind of price range that you can get. And to me, I can't recommend this in all, in all honesty. But like I say, if you do fancy one or you've had one and you've had much better luck with it than me, that's... Absolutely great. Leave a comment and let me know how well you got on with it. It might just be mine's duff. And if that's the case, I will send it back to where I bought it from. But I just don't know whether it's duff or whether that's just the way the drone is. So, but for me, because I recommend things out of the box and the reviews I do are always on out of the box. So if I get one that's not, that's faulty out of the box, I won't ever review it again. I'll never get another one in and review it because I just, I lost confidence in the drone. And to me, this is what this has done. Enjoy the video that's got coming up. It's a couple of minutes of me flying it in the woods. You'll see it's quite lively as well, it's got, it's got plenty of power and you'll see the way it hovers when I first take off that it's fantastic but for me it's a no. So thanks ever so much for watching, have a fantastic day.